This is a photograph taken inside Manchester Art Gallery. If you have a look in this region, I'm just going to magnify it, there is the photographer taking the actual photograph. Now they've stood right in front of the actual painting and they've got the reflection. Now if you wish to take photographs within an art gallery, this is not a sensible thing to do. You need to take it at a slight angle and that way you won't get these reflections. It's even worse if you use a flash. OK, I'll just come up here and I'll shut this photograph down. Here's another photograph taken inside the same art gallery and you can see it's taken at an angle and consequently there are no reflections in the image. But the image is quite distorted. The actual painting you can see is at a strange angle. I would have to have got my camera pointing directly to the centre of this image and in the same plane but we've already seen the problems that that causes. What we can do, however, we can manipulate this in GIMP. Now, to do this, what I'm going to do is to put some guidelines. Now, to get a guideline, you come up here and you simply drag them down, as you can see here. And I'm going to drag them down to that position. And I'm going to get another guideline and I'm going to drag that down to this area of the image here. And I come to the side, I'm going to drag another guideline down, or across I should say, and I'm going to drag another one across to there. Now if we look very carefully we can see how badly distorted the image is. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look in this particular region here and we can see the degree of distortion. You see this is a line here, a guideline, and we can see that the edge of the actual painting, not the frame, let's ignore the frame, is here. And as we go further down, you can see that we're getting closer and closer. But there's a, quite an acute angle there. And what we've got to do is to see if we can sort that out. Now I'll come back up here now to where it says view. I'll go to zoom and I'll say fit image in window. So there we can see the image in the actual window itself. I'm going to come to zoom out and I'm going to click on the center to give myself plenty of room around the actual painting to work with. I'm now going to click onto this tool here which is called the perspective tool and I'm simply going to uh, click in the center and this dialog box pops up which I'm just going to put out of the way down here for the moment and then what I can do I can grab all of these edges here and I can drag the actual image and as I'm doing what I'm trying to do is to straighten it with respect to the actual guidelines. Now if you have a look in this region here you can see that the actual image is lining up with this particular guideline but if we look in this region we can see it isn't so I'm going to drag it in this direction now and I now can see I've got it lined up there. If I have a look at the bottom guideline, this one here and I follow that across, well that's not too bad but I'll just drag it down here again and we can see it's more or less lined up there and then of course if I come over here we can see it's quite a long way out here so we grab hold of this one and we move that in this direction here and then we can see that if we judge it by eye that's more or less there but a few more little tweaks and we can look and see yeah that's not so bad what I'm going to do however I'm going to come here and I'm just going to drag this up a little there and I'm going to drag it up on this side so you see you don't have to always go to the corners to do this you can do it within this framework that actually appears yeah now I'm reasonably happy with that you can spend more time on this obviously now you come here and then you simply click on transform and you have to wait while this actually does the processing and this depends on the speed of your computer obviously mine's getting old now but it still does the job and there you can see that we have actually straightened that photograph up making sure you have this uh, move tool selected here go to the guides and simply drag them off the image as you can see I'm doing here just drag them out of the way with the guys out of the way, now go to the cropping tool here, come to the image and go just inside the frame of the painting 
and simply drag down here as you can see avoiding catching any of the actual frame itself um, and just go to that position there and uh, release and then go into the middle and actually simply click it there and there is your image straightened up of course the actual painting has now lost its frame but we're in GIMP we can add one if we like now a later video in this series will show you how to add frames to paintings